You know what they say, Kevlar panels keep the attackers at bay. In this video, I'll be giving you a guide on Castle, an FBI defender in Rainbow Six Siege. That's what the thumbnail shows you. Castle comes equipped with a UMP-45 submachine gun, one of my personal favorite submachine guns, and the M101 pump-action 12-gauge shotgun as primaries. The UMP-45 is better while roaming due to its faster fire rate and its damage. Also, while roaming, the M45 handgun provides some needed stopping power, but has a smaller magazine than the 5.7. The UMP-45 definitely helps while roaming since you're separated from your teammates and your defenses. Even though you can choose to roam as Castle, I highly suggest against it. Even though you can roam as him, he doesn't really make a great roamer. Castle does, however, make an amazing objective defender. While using his M101 shotgun, which provides enough stopping power to put down any foe that gets close enough to you, and the 5.7 as a primary in case uh, you need that 20 round magazine it has, you should have no problem defending. That being said, I suggest the deployable shield over the barbed wire, since the shield can add an extra layer of defense once the attackers do manage to breach your defenses, and it can cover some holes you have in your defenses. Now, Castle, Castle's Kevlar panels, the real reason why you want to use them, are good on either windows or doors. That's the only two things you can put them on, which should actually cover a lot. And if, when you do put them on windows, all you have to do is just break down the original barrier and put that up. And it definitely helps keep out those annoying window breaches or at least it, they might still happen but you'll have a little warning okay the only downside is that you're basically advertising to the enemy team which room you're in but if they've already found it with their drones and cameras and stuff it really doesn't matter then the panels take very little damage from bullets and it takes around 12 melee attacks normal normal melee attacks to knock one down but you can knock smaller holes into to the panels like other barricades this is useful for the defending team because they can make murder holes in the panels to cover long sight lines like hallways, since the attacking team has to get up close to destroy the panels, except for Ash. The easiest and quickest way to destroy panels is using explosives. This includes a standard breaching charge and pretty much other explosives. This does make, however, make Ash one of the best counters to Castle. It should also be mentioned that Sludge can use his hammer to knock down the barricades in a few swings. Not Definitely not 12 like the uh, normal melee attacks, but um, about 3 to 4. And I'd like to also mention that uh, Fuse can put his grenade launcher things through your panels. Your panels are not resilient to that. You can just stick them on there and shoot them into the room. So you kind of need to be careful. Now you can also put traps on the panels, like uh, nitro cells. You can stick them to the back of them. Or Capcom's laser traps, which uh, this is mostly useless 100% of the time. Since the panels are destroyed with explosives, and most often they destroy with explosives, the panel will explode, and so will the sanguinary trap, which means you just wasted one of Capcom's lasers, or Nitro Cell. Now, I prefer to use Castle to stay as close to the objective as possible, because he makes a great objective operator. His panels can easily lock down the objective area, and his shotgun can take anyone that manages to breach into the area. There's nothing wrong with using Castle as a not roamer. I just think he shines the brightest as an objective defender. Because I know people that like the Roma's castle. There's nothing good with it. He just doesn't make a great one. So, in summary, this pretty much just stay as close as the objective as popular as popular as possible. Use the shotgun to kill anyone that does breach into the uh, area. His uh, the 20 round 5.7 definitely helps out, especially if you uh, just so happen to run out of blasting your shotgun away. And keep a watch for Ash, Sledge, and uh, Fuse because they can all take out your um, your panels in creative ways. But remember, the standard breach and charge will do the job as well. So there you go, an in-depth guide on Castle. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for even more guides on Rainbow Six Siege and various other games. And please check out my other operator guides that are on my channel. I'll have some of them linked below. As long as bleh. <laughs> As always, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.